The thing for me with Grizz is, I don't think there was a single moment where I realized that this was going to be, you know, a, a thing that would make me internet famous. The resolution in a web browser is actually quite limited, so you can't have an unlimited variety of grids. You're kind of beholden to the basic maths. For me, and I think for a lot of people, if you have a skill that allows you to make things, I think it's really important to not let those muscles atrophy. I have an idea for a particular kind of product that I want to bring out into the world. Becoming an entrepreneur, it's really about giving yourself a big assignment. The great thing about it is if you pick an interesting enough problem and you develop an interesting enough solution, you can continue to work on that and spend several years really getting it right. I didn't really know much about design. It all came from a love of comic books. It's got drawing, it's got type. It's got type doing lots of interesting things. It must have been in high school, I read an interview with a comic book letterer talking about the art of what he does, and I never really considered it. Everything that I do is now about making the story as clear as possible. And everything else is just window dressing on top of that. To think that there was a dynamic between the lettering of a comic book panel and the actual drawing, that sort of opened the door for me to start thinking about design problems and start seeing not just the drawing within the panel, but the whole page and how the panels are arranged and how the type interacts with the panels from there. I try to be careful when I use grids because the power of the grid can be so intoxicating. Once you really get a hang of it, you realize like everything can line up and you get this, this immediate boost to the aesthetic power of your design. It's very compelling. I really try to remember that the grid itself is not the original problem. The problem is whatever communication I'm trying to create an interface for. The reason I was attracted to graphic design and I moved away from painting and illustration was design seemed a bit more objective to me. I'm trying to remove all the decision making from graphic design, get more and more objective. The grid is a tool for me to sort of impose order and logic and law. There's a framework. If you remove all the subjectivity, then you get some essential truth, some core idea that's, that's not um, sort of clouded by um, inaccuracies or, or you know, approximations or you know, subjective feelings. Emotional cloudiness. And it may be impossible to really get there, but if you can get to that core idea, to me that's a worthwhile pursuit. I remember when I first came to New York, in the first couple of years, I felt like I was still just a guest in the city. And I guess maybe at, at, at four years, I started feeling comfortable that I was really living here and that I was gonna be able to tough it out.